Exciting is how Dr. Raya Dwake describes finding a clear breath print in patients with heart failure. He analyzed the breath of study patients who exhaled into a deflated balloon, and he found a difference between those with heart failure and those without. So the breath, it turns out, has a lot of uh, molecules in it. Every time we exhale, we expel thousands of molecules in our exhaled breath that comes from a variety of sources. It could come from the diet we eat, it could come from the bacteria in our gut, it could come from the environment. We inhale something and we exhale it right back. But also, a lot of diseases change the composition of, the breath, of our breath. I think it is totally amazing thing what they're doing. Pat Padwarden was one of the patients in the Cleveland Clinic study. Heart failure left him short of breath. Walking just one block was almost impossible. Now he has a pacemaker and he's feeling much better. So I think it's a blessing to me that they are able to do something like that. And uh, it, the progress is, uh, you know, there is no limit for that. The breath test is non-invasive and less expensive than blood tests, x-rays, or EKGs. But more important, patients who are diagnosed with heart failure can be managed appropriately. What to do with it is the next step. Are we able to identify these patients before they get the heart failure or not? That we have to study that. Are we able to monitor them over time and see when they get better, does the breath get better as well? These are ongoing studies that we are doing and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, be able to monitor these patients better and diagnose them better in the future.